All right, guys, back back with Texas bread. Me, Mullet Man, Judd, we came down to Poteet, Texas, where uh, this is better known as the strawberry capital of Texas. But uh, we came down here to do a little varmint hunting, javelina hunting, possibly a turkey, and uh, maybe some hogs. So anyways, we, uh, we just got here. Got here a little bit late this evening. We weren't able to hunt for javelinas, but we are gonna go calling. So uh, we're about to hop in a truck and get started. Are you gonna set that out there? Get your butt on top of the hood. Him, dude. Hey, bam! Give me some of that. Bam, baby. Yes. He is done, dude. Congrats. <laughs> That's bad, dude. Congrats, brother. Good shot, dude. Smoked him. Oh. Dude, that is so awesome. I know. I have wanted one of those. Oh, me too, so dude. freaking long. Brad's been searching all night long. <laughs> Finally got him a ring tail. Finally got him. Dude. Ooh, he stinks. Coolest dude. animal in Texas by far. Freaking awesome. But they do stink. That mine didn't stink. 
Dude, this thing smells Did awful. Did you smell? I couldn't smell mine though. No, I didn't smell yours. Dude, freaking awesome. Oh yeah, trip was just made. Yep, that made our trip right there. Those two ringtails. With the air rifle too. That's right. Joe, did you spot them or did Brad spot them? Brad spot them. No. Nice. All right, guys. Mike got him a ringtail cat earlier. And I've been searching all night long. I never look in trees. Never. The only thing we have where we're from, raccoons. I never look in trees. I have looked in every tree in this property. And I finally found one. Anyways, uh, and I'm pumped. It made my whole trip being able to shoot this cat. And uh, I don't know, I'm pumped. That was, uh, it made my night. Um, Judd, you shot a bunch of these? Uh, not a bunch, like five or six maybe. That's awesome. That's my first one. Dude, that is so cool. We made four or five calls this evening. Didn't come up with much at all while we were calling. But we did get two ringtail cats and at, on our way out of the fields, we had four coyotes come up. Mike took a shot. He's the only one that had a gun. He ends up shooting or wounding two of them, we believe. And then we, he ends up going and following up and killing the other one. And then I shot one in the far south end of the field. It's dark, grass is high, we were unable to find it. We're gonna go back in the morning. But for now, we are gonna go get some sleep. It is two in the morning and we've got an early morning. We're getting up at six o'clock, going javelina hunting, turkey hunting. Hi guys, welcome back to Texas Bread. Day two here in Poteet, Texas. We, uh, we went out early this morning looking for javelina, had no luck, and now I am sitting by a feeder waiting on some turkey. I'm hunkered down, hunkered down and hoping these turkey are coming in. We have passed some earlier driving in the truck, scanning for uh, javelina. But now I'm sitting here waiting on them. I think they're gonna come. The feeder just went off. And uh, hopefully I can get a turkey in. They, uh, we saw four toms running together earlier. And that's what I'm hoping for sitting here. So we'll uh, wait and see, see if I can get one to come in. All right, guys, well, sat here for five hours. Saw 11 turkey, and that is it. Mike and them just came to pick me up, and it just didn't work out. But uh, we're fixed to find out the plan if we're gonna stay a little longer, stay for this evening hunt, and uh, see if we can get some animals down. But uh, I'm about to talk to Mike, we'll figure it out, and uh, hopefully we're gonna stick around. All right, guys, so we, we just went and had lunch. Took about an hour and a half nap sitting in the truck and now it's time to hunt again so mike and uh judge just dropped me off i got about a quarter of a mile walk to where i'm sitting this afternoon i'm uh gonna find me a tree to lean up against and i'm gonna tr hopefully get a javelina if a turkey walks in i'll be perfectly happy with a turkey but i came here for a javelina and i really don't want to leave without one but we have been here for two days and we've yet to see a javelina or a pig. Really crazy because Pat, the owner of Sotex Outfitters has showed us his cameras, and, or his cards anyway. And there's pigs and javelina all on camera. All right guys, so Mike just told me by text message he shot a javelina they saw two of them and he shot him with his bow so they're uh, retrieving him and they're fixing to look for Judd one but uh, I have only seen turkeys again I ha when I walked up I saw the guy there were four gobblers in the brush and they spotted me took off and 
and uh, I was here about an hour and a half, and I had the same nine gobblers, or same nine hens come in. I got about 30 minutes left of light. I'm hoping something comes in. I heard some pigs grunting earlier, but I haven't seen much of anything. But uh, good job for Mike. He got him a javelina. I can't wait to see it. I want to try to, I'm going to skin it out and gut it. And right. I got a saw, I don't know if I can cut it in half, but I really want to put it on the pit. Like I've cooked backstrap out of these things. I've smoked backstrap, you know, for three, four hours. And uh, unless you cut it into tiny little pieces yeah. that you like don't have to do any chewing, like the meat tastes great. Yeah. Like the flavor is amazing. It's tough. You just cannot chew it. Well. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap this video up. We've got two ringtail cats. we got three coyotes. And Mike got a javelina today. That was our two-day hunt. I did not get a thing today. It was a little bit slow. I walked up on the turkey. I had four gobblers when I came to the stand, or when I came to the feeder. They were already there. I got busted immediately. Then nine hens came in. Again, the same nine that are in the video earlier. They came right back in, didn't shoot, and then obviously, uh, well, and then obviously you saw the deer. I had the deer at four yards. That was pretty cool. He, uh, I finally tried to move and grab the camera, and I spooked him, but spooked her. But that was a lot of fun. Had a good time. Thanks, to SoTech Outfitters, for letting us come down here, or letting Mike come down here, and Mike letting me come down here. But anyways, uh, that's right. That's right, Texas bread. That's gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one.